Well, hi there, Karen. Thank you very much for agreeing to do the interview. I think most people will be inspired by what you've got to say. Um, my first question is, uh, how old are you? I'm 77 years old or young. 77 years young, that's what I think. Uh, okay, well, first question is, what made you think about starting this carnival way of eating? Well, I'd been... I've been kind of looking for the perfect way to eat for many, many years. And I came upon uh, Mark Sisson years ago and I did a lot of the primal stuff. And then I got into keto a little more seriously. And then I think it was in 2018 where I heard about, uh, I love Jordan Peterson. And I, and I uh, saw the interview with Jordan Peterson and Sean Rogan. I mean, Joe Rogan, and then uh, looked up Michaela Peterson a little. And I think that's what got me started to really try carnivore because I trusted Jordan Peterson. And I thought if he was doing it, maybe it wasn't such a bad idea. I mean, did you have some health issues that made you look at diet in the first place? You know, I'm pretty healthy. I'm pretty lucky, but I'm overweight. I've been overweight, okay, 77 since I was 10. So that's 67 years up and down the scale with that. So basically, it was all about trying to uh, quell cravings and just eat healthier and not just yo-yo back and forth all the time. Now, how much weight, you know, at your heaviest, what was, what was you weighing, if you don't mind me asking? You know, it's been a while that I've been real heavy, but I, I guess my heaviest of my life was about 240. But um, in the last, you know, 10 years, it would go from maybe 200. I'd hit 200, 205. I think I was 210 about four years ago and then I would get down to me won't get down past 160 it's hard for me I, I'll kind of go back up to 175 180 so it's just frustrating Stephen it's just frustrating yeah. although I, I am lucky because I feel good I feel good and I rarely get sick mm -hmm. so. and and how have the cravings been since you've been eating this way I have to say that's the only thing that stops the cravings when I eat carnivore and I'm you know doing a good job at it i don't i don't crave sweets i'm not a big sweet eater but if you if i start i will eat more but i like chips and you know tata chips stuff like that so uh the cravings it's the only thing that stops the cravings that i've found really and, like. yeah. and how long have you been carnivore uh this so i did like i said 2018 i probably went six or seven months maybe 80 percent and then uh, I was actually doing all right until COVID hit. And then with the lockdowns, we weren't having our social life. And we were just kind of, my husband and I were stuck here. And I just sought comfort food. And uh, I do love ribeyes, but it's not a comfort food. It's mm -hmm. not like, a, you know, good old carbohydrates. So I put on probably 30 pounds. I mean, I didn't even weigh myself on the right scale because I didn't want to know what was happening. And by the time I realized I better get a hold of this, it was probably 30 pounds. So I've probably gotten about 20 of those off. And that was on uh, the day after Easter here. It was, uh, I think it was April 5th when I uh, decided to just do it, just go carnivore. And so that's been three months that I've been uh, sincerely doing well. I go about two or three weeks and I I'll find some excuse to eat something or go off or treat myself. Not, not to anything real bad, but just not straight carnivore. Uh, so I'm still working on that. Okay. And have you lost any of that 30 pounds you gained over the COVID period? I've lost about 20, 22 pounds of that. 22 pounds. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And how's, how is your coaching journey? I mean, um, you've tried a few coaches, I believe. You don't have to name them, but I'm just wondering in general. No. I've tried, the coaching's been great. Everyone I've talked to, I've liked. Um, I'm especially fond of you, Stephen. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You've been helpful on the physical end of, you know, uh, implementing exercises and uh, trying to get that in a steady, you know, I do that thing three or four, to four times a week. And mm -hmm. that just keeps me motivated. Um, so the coaching's been great and I know it's always available. I love the Zoom meetings with, with uh, Dr. Baker in the morning. Mm -hmm. I try to at least get that done and uh it's always nice to see you i like your meeting on thursday uh, that's another one that i feel i can get some information about my physical body so and working out and so so forth well that's fantastic karen um 
one of the things that came up in the coaching session with you is you mentioned one of the exercises you like to do is dancing. Do you want to talk a little bit about the, the dancing? Oh, sure. you do? My 87 year old husband and I go dancing at least twice a week, sometimes more. And uh, we do, there's a country guy we like. And so I do some line dancing. He doesn't like that. I line dance. And then we do just regular big, big band stuff or swing or just whatever blues, just, just get out and move. And I can go two or three hours, dance most of the dances. And it's so fun. And it's such a good way to get fitness in because you just enjoy it. And the community of people we dance with, we just love them to death. And so that's great for mental health. So dance if you can, because that's yes. great for everybody. Was there, there was some doctor you mentioned, Peter, someone, and he said something about when you get Peter, to 100. Peter Atia, something yeah. about how to be strong and how to be strong and healthy in your hundreds. That's <laughs> That's my next goal. And uh, yeah, I just I just love it. And the dancing is just such a big part of us. And I just wanted to get that in. Yeah, that's great. And, that's great. and you know, Stephen, I have no cartilage in my right knee. I haven't had cartilage in my right knee for almost 60 years. And it's it, it can't bend all the way. But I still and, and since carnivore, particularly, I have no pain in that knee. I don't know why. I just go out and do what I can. My husband can do that real shimmy, get real low on the ground and get up at 87 i can't do that because of my knee but i can still dance all night long so well that's that's the final question really because i think one of the reasons i was i mean i love talking to you and uh you know the coaching sessions have been such fun is because you're 77 and you're working out with weights so is that a new thing for you the weights is that something you didn't think you'd be doing in your 70s you know what, I've been doing resistance training somewhat for the last 10 years on and off. I go to the gym, I just use a few machines and I, I try, I read a guy, Doug McGuff a long time ago and talked about, you know, just real heavy weights going to failure. Mm -hmm. And I kind of tried that. And uh, I like that feeling. I want to be strong. And so I, I uh, have, I go to the gym very rarely because it's another city over and maybe I go three times a, a month, which keeps, then I know I'm doing all right. And I've actually been able to add 10 pounds on a lot of those machines since I've been carnivore, I just feel stronger. And then of course I do, I do swimming every day in the cold water. I do Qigong and I walk on my property, which is up and down hills uh, every day. Now, once in a while, I don't do it, but generally speaking, I, I'm pretty active uh, every day. And you do your weights at home, is that right? Yes, I've been doing the dumbbells. I've been following what, what you've shown me in that program. And that's at least, uh, I do that four times a week. And maybe once a week I could get over and use those machines. But I like, and then I just lift heavy things. I mean, I do whatever I do in life and try to stay strong. And do you think the program has been helpful, the, the workout program? I think it has because, uh, again, I feel like, I can show biceps. I don't know if they can see it, but I, can, I got the under stuff, but I got some biceps going on there, uh, which I can definitely tell is getting stronger. And I, and I like that uh, a lot. That's fabulous. So Karen, I could talk to you all day, um, but that's fantastic. Do you have any advice you'd like to give anyone that's thinking of trying carnivore? Just do it. I mean, give yourself, an, and I did the 30 days. And then of course, it's kind of um, misleading in a way because you do 30 days and then you, of course, want to do more th than 30 days, especially. Now, I said I don't have health, other than the weight, I don't really have health problems, but my joints do hurt from time, have been sore or hurt. I've had some wrist problems in the past. The joint pain is gone. I don't feel that at all. Um, a little stiffness in the morning, real little now, and then it's just gone. And I do think I attribute that to carnivore for sure. And I'm sleeping better. That's the other thing. And I'm not getting up in the night like I used to. So that I have to attribute it to carnivore because that's what's been happening in the last couple of months. So I think that's awesome. And my mental attitude is good. I, you know, some days I'm just, just so happy to be alive and feel like I've finally found the answer. I don't always do it. Not always, Stephen. I mess up once in a while, but I'm still working with that. I have a whole history of that. So, uh, but, um, most of the time it's right on and I'm happy and, and feeling great.
That's fantastic. Karen, thank you so much. I really appreciated your time. You're very welcome, Stephen. And thanks for being my coach. I appreciate you a lot. Thank you.